Hey guys, I hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day and welcome back to Prussia in EU4. Uh, I wanted to follow up because I've gotten quite a few comments of people saying, uh, do you plan to get a personal union on Austria? You have a whole head on their throne. Uh, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that is not going to be possible. So no, likely not. <laughs> but uh, what I will be trying to do today is pushing a bit through more through our... Uh, our um, stuff here. So let's get our university here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I already got that. Our golden arrow is over, but uh, we're going to be pushing through this. We really need to get our absolutism up as quickly as possible. We are ahead on admin. So I'm going to boost my stability up there to get us an extra absolutism. Uh, we are focusing on trade, which is fine. We are pushing through this, but I want mill tech first. We have truces with a lot of people, but uh, nobody over here. I'm at war with the Platinate in order to full annex them, hopefully, but they are also in a war over here with these guys. Who I have a truce with basically everybody over here, except for these guys. I have a claim on him. So Bavaria, I think, would be a good vassal. So what I'm gonna do, I assume I could do this, right? Yes. So I will co-belligerent Bavaria. And we will vassalize him. So let's get these guys over there and have you guys come with a general down here onto them. We don't even need to change up our focuses. We're good. Like this is just going to be an easy clap. And then um, hopefully this war will get over soon and then I can get out of that war with the platinate. Wow, that was very quick. <laughs> Poland wants out. Right, I forgot about this one. Very good. Poland will uh, get full annexed, so we're just going to sit there and wait. He's got the devastation maxed out. Going to keep on rocking it. No questions asked. Our siege ability is good already, and it's only going to get better as we make our way over towards this siege ability, plus the policy, which gives us additional siege ability. Uh, we'll lose the Diplomena. It's not a big deal. We have plenty of it to go around. I don't think we really need all, both of these guys over here. So let's get the non-siege general. Ah, the classic. <laughs> the fort zone of control that makes you march all the way around your country. There we go. Get these guys over here. Get these guys over here. We need to obviously get uh, Switzerland out of the war as well. Because they're going to be annoying. And whenever this is done, we'll be able to click this mission. And it needs, wait, does it say? Ah, needs 30 dev as well. That's fine. Had it on defensiveness, actually. Oopsies. Oh, well, we can turn off most of these edicts. Save a little bit of money. Not that we really need it, but, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. These guys are, we're just waiting until Prussia's interested in getting full annex. A couple of months, maybe. We'll see. In this war, I'm going to annex you and vassalize Munchen or Bavaria. Lots of AE, but uh, don't care. At this point, even Italy can join my coalition and I ain't worried about it. So let's get you guys over here. Get you guys down here. Get these guys out of the war ASAP. The sooner we piece them out, the better. Memmingen, huh? I'll just uh, piece them out. The reformed faith is looking very strong, actually. And that hasn't even really been like my primary goal. Britain could join my coalition if they wanted to. Mm. His navy is built back up again. Let's take a look at his navy. Heavy ships. Britain has 20. We have 20 galleys, but that's not... That's not going to do it for us. So let's get 10 more heavies. So that way we can compete. Fine with me. Uh, we need to upgrade these forts over here. So I shall. Let's upgrade the fort in Dresden. Let's upgrade the fort in Plock over here for our boy. Very good. That frees up this stack to come over here and drill. Any of this that we can do? Very good, yes. I'll exploit as much of that as I can, and we will turn it back into buildings. 
see if there's any state houses that we could be building. Um, yeah, none of them are particularly good for it, but, uh, let's see here. Where do we have the most dev? That's, that's my question. Like we've yoinked almost all the dev in this country. Let's see here. So I suppose building a couple of these guys over here would be good. Yeah, that'll do fine. That'll help. We're under it still, which is good. I'm going to hold on to the Prussian monarchy for as long as I possibly can. These guys, all three have it, which is good. We'll win these sieges eventually. I think we can speed five for this one. Get these guys back to drilling. We want to make sure that we get our professionalism up as high as possible, as fast as possible. And we're still just waiting on this piece over here with these guys, so no rush. We're probably going to call for, call for pizza here soon. What is their com? 14%, huh? Give monies? No. No. You will get vassalized. Look at this, man. They're so beefy. Such a good vassal. Burgundy popping off over here. All right, Switzerland. Though I will, I will take the longest truce possible with them. Keep them out of my coalition. Right. Right. Let's get these texts now. Uh, do I have any cav at all? I don't think I have any cav. I have no cav. So this is a nice little trick you can do. Is uh, make your cav the most outdated units that you could possibly make them. Because what that does is it makes... So your uh, rebels spawn with the poopy infantry that you have selected. So nice little trick there. Uh, and you will annul your alliance with Flanders. No, that's fine. That's fine with me. Very good. Memmingen. All these buttons here. You like some dev? Yeah, I'll take it. 8 AE. At this point, AE ain't nothing but a number, baby. It'll make it easier to, uh, to take it and core it later anyways, because then we'll be able to... Uh, to concentrate the dev. All right. This is the peace deal we're going to take with them. The Diplo doesn't mean anything to me. There we go. Welcome to the fold. Ulik. These guys are going to be disloyal. Yeah. They're going to hate me pretty bad for quite a while, and that's okay with me. I don't mind a whole lot. Yeah, it's fine. I'll get their relations up. And, uh... These guys we have a truce with until... For a while. Yeah, we have a truce with basically everybody that we could... Be at war with. So I will... Conquest this. Do I have any... I have some... Let's get some claims over here, yeah. On the highest dev provinces. So, Wittenberg. Am I hitting the wrong button there? It's, uh... There we go. There we go. Now we attack him for one of these provinces. Doesn't matter. What do they know? Miltech that I literally just took mill. So this is good though, because we can start pushing through this. We'll be able to hopefully finish out offensive ideas. Oh yeah, we have so much mana gen. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. They have one, two forts. This one is a level two, which is good. I don't care about that. Admit for 10% discipline. Oh, it's so good. I don't think I need to play. Eh, I'll placate them a couple of times and I'll just take the prestige. That's fine. That'll actually keep them mostly loyal. Provence has entered my coalition. Oh no, what am I going to do? I think this is fine, actually. I, um, it's not like ideal, but uh, what I can do here is I can just like dismantle France. It's basically always a good day to beat up on France. <laughs> so if I can do it, I'll do it, you know? I think just this 160 stack will be plenty. Oh yes, he has hardly any units. Let's do something like that. They're not gonna be able to do anything about it. People are joining my coalition. 
it's unavoidable at this point. Genoa joined. Oh no, anyways. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep on attacking people. Like I'm just folk cycling truces, right? These guys are gonna get hopefully full annexed. Very good. 59 AE. More people will join. Don't care. That's the piece we're gonna take here. They have Flanders and Regensburg. Regensburg will get uh, pieced out for some reconquest. I didn't even see that, so that's really good for us. We have some rebels popping. Where? Over here. No, oh, man. Look at the Pope. Carpet sieging down my vassal. But defensiveness is juicy, too. Look at those siege ticks. 47 days. I can live with that. But uh, just going to siege down Paris. Eventually. Disputed succession in Muscovy, huh? No, they raised it. Now we got some more rebels over there bombing the vast or the oh, that's not the Pope. No, some of it is the Pope. Regensburg and the Pope look similar on with this map mod or the uh, graphics mod. Come on down here. We've won the Siege of Paris. Let's get a, another general. Oh my gosh, our generals are incredible. And they will be the whole game because we have really good army tradition because every time we go into a battle we steamroll them i'll do that i like protecting trade come back over here and siege back cologne monthly fervor that actually would be useful cost of enforcing religion through war yeah never mind that's not that's not useful i lied <laughs> certainly lied yeah but these guys over here are gonna get um i might even full annex them I have to take their capital, but the big the big thing is is um and, and I say this a couple of times every once in a while. Somebody cannot join a coalition against you if they do not exist, right? I can lose some money, that's fine. Stay focused on war, that's fine with me. We've won the siege of Cologne. So let's come on down here and help him out. I don't care about this over here nearly as much i mean ideally they're not going to be breaking down my devastation or my uh, prosperity half off level three admin sounds good to me cheaper mana is cheaper mana level four for the cheaper than a level three that's good stuff now they're over here sieging this down pretty quickly not ideal. This is fine though. Yep, there you go. You guys will now get out of there. Our heavies are good. Though I will probably still mothball them just to make sure. Portugal coming over here. Being a pest. This is woods, but uh, they have no general. Ah, they reinforced. All right, let's get these guys grouped up here. Plan Eight is still in their war, and they even took a province back. Okay, we'll see what we can do here. Something like that. Get these guys grouped up over here. They are attacking my vassal, who's got superior morale and discipline. Yeah, okay. Let's come over here. We need to catch as many of their units as quickly as possible. The sooner we stack wipe them all, the better. Oh, where are you going, huh? Where are you going? They're fleeing up here to Liege. That's perfect. They have no... Ah, they teleported a general in. We have a call for pizza for the Platinate War. Unfortunate. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, that was quite the wipe. Very good. Okay, well, I suppose just taking Heidelberg is fine. We need to get Ansbach so we can finish this mission tree over here. Upper Franconia and Lower Franconia. Is that here and here? Swabia. Okay, so over here. So I suppose what I do is I... These guys have a truce with me until 31. Hmm... I'm just trying to figure out what is the best way to go about this. They will siege that down eventually. Portugal's over here sieging down my vassal because reasons. 
Let's carpet siege down the French. These guys are occupied enough that they're going to be willing to peace out for whatever I want. I will yoink Dev as well. Why not? At this point, let's just see how high we can get Berlin. Berlin, the mega metropolis of the of uh, Europe, right? Get these guys carpet siege down over here. That's fine. Turn that fort on. Regrettable. The call for pizza should go away now. Very good. Now I need to get my boys over to siege down Regensburg's capital so we can give Bavaria back his core. That will make Bavaria much happier with me as well. We've actually got him in the positive now, which is really good. And uh, we just need to continue to full occupy France. Now, the main reason I'm in this war with France is to keep him out of my coalition. Uh, but also, I can take a ton of money from him, which then weakens him, right? And then later on, once in, um, imperialism comes around, imperialism, we can quickly steamroll through them. Oh no, the coalition grows. Oh no, look at my coalition. I'm so scared of it. Pathetic. Truce with Austria. He's got some claims over here. Bosnia, Naples, Constanz. This is fine. So let's go for Salzburg. Oh, he's transferring trade power to me. Very annoying because he's probably going to join my coalition instantly. Maybe not. The sixth, I can attack. Hopefully he doesn't join the coalition in the meantime. He did not. Very good. Take Salzburg. We want absol yearly absolutism. Get this guy maxed out as quickly as humanly possible. I have no rebels, so I can't suppress rebels. But we're good. These guys over here are being pesky. Yep. Very annoying. But yeah, take a look at this. Name another tag that you can do this with. So how come these guys won't join? Multiple wars would destabilize them and they're in a lot of debt. The classic debt spiral AI. Though I will say I haven't noticed it nearly as bad this time around. This patch has been much more stable for, th for that. Excuse me, a little hiccup there. Siege this, please. Our uh, manpower reserves are um, robust. To say the least. Get these guys over here. We've won the Siege of Regensburg. I will separate piece them for a full annex. Oopsies. What? Really? Must be high dev, huh? Let's see here. Okay, that's fine. That gives me a border with Onspock. And we'll take that core back. We'll uh, annex that later. This will give me a nice long truce with them. It also makes him much happier with me. So he's going to be quite loyal now. Yeah, very loyal. So that's awesome. And, um... Okay. Shout out whoever had mentioned um, vassalizing Bavaria. Somebody had said that in the comments and I... I do not recall who it was exactly, but it was a good idea. I agree. Ah, yes, the Fort Zone of Control. Well, let's see John Prague. I'm uh, thirsty for some shots. Let's uh, come in here and stack wipe this group here. They're like, no. All right, Pope man, let's come over here. Wipe you out as well. How you doing, Pope? So this Pope is uh doing not so good he's not feeling very good but man it's like oh that was his whole army i believe oh yeah he just lost his whole army sheesh that's what you get for going against the prussian military you should have just tapped out it's crazy let's take a look at how our army quality looks so morale most in the world and number two is our vassal so that's good Discipline, most in the world, number two is 
Saxony, who is going to get annexed, and he is almost 20 points lower than me. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. So France is over here being annoying. I'm going to have to peace out Pope Man and Portugal. Very good. We're almost to the siege. That's the one I'm looking for. So we're in so many big wars at the same time. It's hard to keep track, but... Um, Let's get these guys out of there. Oh, no. Don't make me walk through there, man. Let's uh, spy network on you guys. Don't care about Spain. Yeah. Because France has decent war um, siege ability, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. He has offensive. Seems appropriate. That's okay, though. It's not a big deal. So Muscovy still looking for that personal union. He is my rival. So I feel like if he were to get PU'd, I would be able to contest it, right? No. Interesting. We've won the Siege of Prague. Shots up, boys? Let's uh, force march up here. Get these guys out of there. And then we'll get over here. Get those guys out of there as well. So minus seven. So I don't need to force march. They're just going to run away, which is fine. It does, doesn't matter to me at all. These guys down here. So France is just about ready to peace out. And in order to peace him out, I will just take all of his money. And then yoink some dev. Fine by me. A lot of money, and more importantly, it's money that we are taking out of the French pockets. So, score comparison, admin rating, um, rivals. France is not a rival. How come they're not? They're not even showing up in like the top twenty. Really? All right. Let's see. France is. Uh, so there are eight loans, and then they're going to add another five because I just took. Uh, and five loans worth of money from them. So they're up to 13 loans. So France is uh, going to start spiraling likely, which is good. Looks like these guys are actually going to let me attack them here as well, which is really good for me because this is a woods fort. Oh, it's grasslands. I lied. Still though, no men shall be spared. We shall give no quarter to the filthy Austrians, the fake Germans in the south. Let's head on over here and get these guys out of there. Now let's siege these guys down over here. Beating up on the Austrians is a is an old pastime for us Prussians. Get over here. Spare no quarter. Look at that. Look at that. 7,000 men and they lost almost, what is this, 19,000, give or take. Head on down. They got off of Lanshut. They're like, actually, I, I take it back. I want none of this. I'll have none of it. Very good. Uh, how is our governing capacity? So, creeping up again. We need to start figuring out how we want to do this. We're going to need to delete a ton of buildings. Um, as far as state houses go, let's build all those first because the state houses are going to give us a bit of help. We are number one in the world now. We've passed Spain and the Ottomans now. We've officially passed the Ottomans. Lose some Diplomana. Oh no, anyways. So somebody had mentioned, maybe I take a state that I unstate, and then I you have that designated as my, my development point dump. I kind of like that idea. The idea, the question is, is where? We could have it be like over here. The issue is, is you can only yoink dev every 50 years. If I unstated it, I don't know when I'd be able to yoink the dev again. Plus, it does hurt our average autonomy and all that stuff, which average autonomy will, will be useful because it'll allow us to expand our administration, which we're going to need to do plenty of times in the coming months and years, especially if we want to keep the Prussian monarchy. Great Britain has joined my coalition. That's fine. And uh, we shall see these guys down over here. Uh-oh. Stinky. 
Look at Bavaria, you good little vassal boy. Appreciate you, Bavaria. All right. Well, we've won the Siege of Wien. We've sieged down the Wieners. All right, lads, I think that's a good place to call it. So we've grown a bit in Bavaria, Mazovia, a uh, little bit of clay over here. And down here in Heidelberg, when our truce is up with these guys, we will attack them. And when our truce is up with these guys, we will attack them as well. Um, the issue is, is if I, I need just this province and I get permanent claims on all of this that I already am going to have half of. Hmm. And when I do this one, I just get the mill points, which is fine, but it's not like required. Anyways, let's piece out of this war here. Let us... Yoink and court. Not bad. All right. If you guys are enjoying, please make sure you show your support. Leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. If you would like to support me, Patreon is the best way to do it. It's linked in the description below as well as our merch, Discord, Twitter, any of those interesting things you might be wanting. It's all linked in the description below. That's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Big special thanks to my top May supporters on Patreon. Drunk Binary, Bloodbound, Mr. McFlu, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Batman on Deck, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, Tharo, The J. Baller, Blonde Damon, Jacko, R. Harvest, Corbett, Shankopotamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Bargain Glad, Natsuki, Harry, A. Murado, J. Cutchel, N. Winkler, R. J. Pilot, Stolier, and many more.